today I got an idea. I was talking to a client who's also a friend and explaining how your menstrual cycle is so indicative of how you feel, what's going on with your body, why you crave certain things. And uh, she was like, why you should explain that. So that's what I'm here to do. And basically everybody knows that women unfortunately have more body fat. That is how we're designed is because we were created to carry babies and we store it, especially on our hips and our thighs. And that has to do with hormones. And when it comes to your menstrual cycle, depending where you're at in your cycle is your dependent of your cravings, how you're going to gain muscle. Um, it has everything to do with everything because think about it. It is hormones. So going into that, we know that men have testosterone. Men have 10 to 30% more testosterone than we do. That's good and bad for muscle growth. That's great. When it comes to childbearing, that's not so great. So in your menstrual cycle, let's say you are the perfect woman and have 28 days in your cycle. So the first 14 days is called the follicular cycle. The next 14 days is called the luteal phase. So we have the follicular and the luteal. So the first 14, like the first two weeks and the next two weeks, and then we have a little bit of a, a something else in between. I'll get to that. So your first 14 days in your follicular phase, your estrogen is high and your progesterone is low. Then you hit ovulation. That kind of, it kind of swaps. And then progesterone becomes high and estrogen becomes low. So what happens, what does that even mean? So when estrogen, estrogen is high, your body is great at burning calories. Like the insulin sensitivity that you have when your estrogen is high is great, but you also, uh, sorry, these things are kind of bothering me. Um, so you also don't have as big of an appetite. It's probably because you don't need it. Your hormones aren't saying, oh, I need to be fed right now. So you don't need it then. It also helps muscle soreness. But then what happens? You have ovulation and then you go into this luteal phase. And this luteal phase is like, no, we don't want to be insulin. We don't want to have that sensitivity right now. Oh, you don't. That's great. Now I'm just going to crave sweets and carbs and chocolates and things are going to hurt and they're going to ache and I'm going to do shitty in my workouts. Um, may not sleep as good. That's when most women are actually diagnosed with depression and anxiety and other things is usually in that time frame, hence PMS. Um, so I, it changes your metabolism and it's a real thing because it's your chemistry and then right around ovulation your testosterone is going to spike yes you do have some testosterone just like women or men have some estrogen so your testosterone is going to, to go a little higher right before ovulation and that is usually when you hit your PRs that's when everything's at its peak because you've got the best of both estrogen you still got estrogen and now you're getting some a rise in testosterone. So you're going to do great then. After that, it's just all downhill until you come back to your follicular phase. Okay, so what is the point? The point is, is if you're trying to do a new diet or a new program, I'd like you to do it in your follicular phase. That was before ovulation, those first two weeks leading up to that. You're going to be more disciplined. Your body is going to react better. And so you're going to be on a, a, an even playing field. The next phase, your luteal phase, should just be more of a maintenance phase where you're not trying to diet hardcore, you're not cutting or shredding or whatever that is. What you're trying to do there is just keep your homeostasis good. At that point, get enough water, vitamins, magnesium. We'll get to that one in the next video. But uh, just keep all of that at an even keel. Also, don't beat yourself up if, especially in those next two weeks, you're retaining more water because you're wanting more carbs because your progesterone is high and your estrogen is low, all this kind of stuff. Try, have your husband watch this video or your boyfriend or whomever is just bitching at you because you're acting weird and want chocolate and bonbons and a loaf of bread. Um, when it comes to lifting, you'll probably hit a PR in the first two weeks. And then right before that ovulation, when your testosterone spikes, 
you just mark my words. Go back and look at your calendar and see that most of the time that's where it is. Also, the times if you've ever felt depressed or anxiety, it's in those last two weeks. Another tip that I'd like to mention is if you're if you're one of those people that love the scale and you want to weigh yourself on progress, weigh yourself at the same time in every cycle. So if you're weighing yourself, you know, first day of your follicular phase, do that again next month and don't weigh yourself in between because look at what we just talked about. It's all over the place. And then you're going to be really pissed and then you're going to be more mad and then you're going to get into your luteal phase and you're going to be more irritated at yourself. So it's a vicious cycle in a sense, but if we know how to use it to our advantage, especially for fat loss, it's a win-win, okay? So that is why being a girl is not as easy as most people think, but when someone explains it to you, it's like, oh, the heaven gates just open and you understand why you're a little bit crazy. Everybody is, but, uh, and you're craving chocolate and you could just do anything for a Snickers, so. Here's to lifting heavy PRs around ovulation.